Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, to all of my returning YouTube family and friends. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Teresa and I'm really glad that you guys decided to join me today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick Dollar Tree haul um, that I got on Friday when I was running last minute errands for the wedding and um, I had to run to the Dollar Tree for several items that we still needed and along the way I picked up some goodies for myself. <laughs> so let me jump into this real quick and this is going to be in no particular order. I do have bags here so you are going to be hearing rattling of bags. So sorry guys but that's just the way it's got to go right now. Um, the first two things I picked up was some more fall ribbon and this is I believe yep nine feet and they are the wire edged ribbon and I got these with the pumpkins they are so cute and these don't have to be just for Halloween obviously this is more of a fall type of a ribbon so I did pick these up then I picked up two of the straw bales and these are two and a half by two and a half by three and a half and I just picked these up for some decor that I'm gonna do around the house. So I grabbed those. I picked up this natural raffia and it's three bundles by Floral Garden. And this is going to be for a project that I'm going to be doing. Actually, it is gonna be a collab video that I'm doing with um, Springbird Robin. Um, so her and I have a collab that we're working on for the fall for some fall decor, so keep an eye out for that, guys. That one's gonna be fun. I picked up these four different tassel keychains, um, and I got them in the pink, silver, the gold, and the black. And these are for Miss Robin. She couldn't find them in her store, so I picked them up for her. So I'm gonna be sending those out in friend mail to her. Then I was able to finally find the, um, the keychains with the, the small tassels in the three different colors. So I got it in the pinks the pink and white and the teal orange and lavender and these are for my planners I also did a repurchase and this is a multiple repurchase because I have these um, I actually just used them for a DIY that I just did for the um, coffee table centerpiece the Kelly Barlow recreation and my mom loved it so she asked if I would make one for her so I picked up three of the milk bottle vases so I grabbed those for mom because I'm gonna be doing that this week since I don't have my Noli Bear and then I picked up and I don't oh I know why because this was an exchange um, I had we used these cylinder vases um, from the Dollar Tree for the centerpieces for Michaela's wedding and one was broke so I exchanged it for a new one so that's why I have that and that one is the 7 inch the 7.25 oh no 7.31 so that's what that was for that was an exchange then I found the willow wreath forms guys and i got two of those for part of my fall wreath series that i'm going to be doing so i was super excited to see these and these are the 12 inch wreath forms and i have not seen those at my stores at all um okay i also picked up two of the wire wreath forms since i'm going for my wreath series i needed a couple more of those because typically how i buy those is if i use one i buy one to replace it so i always have them in on hand 
because those things go really fast at the Dollar Tree. Then I found over in the Halloween um, section, they had the window decorations, which I will be doing, I will be using those, not in my windows, but I'm gonna frame them. And I found, The, this one look at how cute look at the cat that just cracks me up and then this one he's actually like it looks like he's coming out of the top of the pumpkin love it love 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 super cute and this is a seven piece set then I also purchased the seven piece spider web I purchased the seven piece bat and it says spooky boo love these super cute and then the pumpkin and pumpkins and ghosts and I love this one too it's so cute and these will be super cute in the frames how I frame them I also picked up the um, drawer organizer and this is the 9.75 by 3.75 by 2 inch they do have the longer one which is about this big which is too big for the three bottles because I you know I just need it for that DIY that I'm going to be doing for mom so I picked that up and then I was able to find the five count pumpkin and gourds in the orange as well as the green which those will be probably used in my wreaths some of my wreaths um okay i also got some of the Halloween stickers and these will be for pocket letters and I got the 30 count and this is the foam stickers by Crafter Square and they are the witch hats. The cat. the bats <laughs> the skulls ghosts and the boo the pumpkins and this is the 25 count and though this one was 28 with the skulls the bats were 30 as well as the cats and witch hats <clears throat> so the pumpkins you get 25 and they're multiple sizes and then I got the words and this is a 15 count and it says boo eek boo Halloween and Halloween and again these are all by the crafters square super cute those will be perfect for Halloween packet letters. Then I found the activity paper pads and I only found two of them and I know there is a third in the series but you get 30 sheets and these are the five by seven and I got the wood grain and they just look like this. And this is just regular paper guys it's not like a um, it's not like a, a true card stock then I got the 30 sheets of the 5 by 7 and these are the pages so you get three so you have this design
this design. I love that one. And that design. So I picked up both of those and there is one more that I was not able to find. So I am on the lookout for that one. I picked up this non-slip rug underlay and I got this for Michaela and it's by the Home Collection. And she has a, her, all of her floors are hardwood or tile. And by her front door, the front door and living room and hallway and bedrooms are all hardwood. But she has a, a, an entryway mat when you walk in the front door and it slips and slides all over the place. So I picked this up for her. And these you can cut to size. This is 18 by 28. So you just, you know, cut it to size to fit your rug. And then you put it underneath and it stops it from slipping and sliding all over the place. I can't tell you how many times I've almost killed myself on that thing. <laughs> I'm walking in her front door. And then by the Essentials brand, I did pick up this Delicates wash bag um, for when I do my bras because it seems like every single time I wash a bra, not in the washer, but when I put it in the dryer, it will catch on the lint you know we have the lint trap that comes up from the bottom and um, because we have front loaders and it will catch on that lint trap and then it winds my straps it's a hot mess so and I've I've lost I've had more of my bras broken from that and I'm just tired of having to replace bras because of it so I picked this up and it is 100% polyester it has a zipper closure so it keeps the items secure during wash. Ideal for delicates and hand washable clothing. Mesh bag allows suds to rinse easily. And this is a five and a half by six by six. And it is the mesh bag there. And then you guys, I found these, um, and I have not seen these before, so I don't know if these are new or what they are, but or if they're just new to my stores but I found white chargers you guys look at these they're gorgeous and they have a little bit of sparkle to them which the camera doesn't pick up but it's got a very light hint of glitter there you go look at how pretty these are so I picked one up for myself and one up for my friend Robin um, so I grabbed two of those. And that's it for this really quick little Dollar Tree haul. I went to four different Dollar Trees Friday. So this was kind of a collection from each one of those stores. Um, every time it seemed like I ran into another one, I found something new that the other stores didn't have. So I grabbed it. And um, so yeah, guys, that's what I got. So I am going to be filming two friend mails. I also have um, my Ipsy bag for the month of August that I'm going to be doing today as well. Um, and then I'm going to be finishing up my first wreath tutorial in my wreath series for the fall. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be this week as well. So you're going to be seeing me a lot in this out this shirt. So, so um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this small, quick Dollar Tree haul, please give me a great big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, click that red subscribe that's down below. And don't forget, guys, to click that little bell to get sent notifications every time I upload a new video. And as always, please leave me your comments, questions, or suggestions down below in the comment section. I love hearing from all of you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been as active with my comments the past week. Um, it's just, I am so far behind on like watching videos. My watch list, my watch later list is probably ridiculous. It's probably got like easily 50 to 100 videos that I still need to watch that I'm just slowly kind of getting through. Um, so yeah, this, you know, I, you hear how uh, weddings are so busy and I can honestly say the pressure wasn't on until Saturday morning. Once we got to the venue to do the final 
set up for the centerpieces because we couldn't do any of the centerpieces until Saturday because we used live roses. So obviously we just couldn't put them in Friday and just leave them and hope, you know, hope for the best. We actually set them all up. We had to cut each rose. She had like, she had one of these, the seven inch, then we had a nine inch, and then we had um, a, a 12 inch. So it was seven, nine, 12. <coughs> so this one had one rose in it, the nine inch had two, and then the 12 had three. So we had to cut each rose to fit, you know, and then we had 13 tables. It was just like, it was like a mad dash to the finish. And it seemed like, you know, and then I had to have her out of there by, uh, we had to have, we had to be to makeup, to have her makeup done by one, one, yeah, one. So we had to leave there by 12.30 because we were an extra 15 to 20 minutes further south west of where she was getting her makeup done. So we had to be out of there by 12.30 to get to um, the makeup gal's place by one. And then it just was like, like everything just was so fast. It was such a blur, like literally. Then I had to have, you know, she had to be back to the venue for hair by three, which we were 15 minutes late for that. Um, and then I was getting my hair done at three at the venue as well. My niece is also a hairdresser, hairstylist. She did me, Kristen and Amber. Um, and so she was there at noon to start with Amber and Kristen and then be done by three for mine. But then I had, I was running around trying to make sure things were done. So I actually didn't start my hair until almost four. The wedding was at five. Bridget did my makeup as well. It was just insanity. Like, it, like the last hour was like a complete blur. I don't literally remember any of the last hour of getting ready. And we had a strict timeline to, you know, the wedding had to start at five, which it did. <laughs> I don't know how. Thank goodness for the pastor's wife. She had a schedule of what time everything was to be done. And she stuck to that schedule like glue. I mean, she was on it. And like Michaela was like freaking out. She was like, mom, who's gonna do my dress before me and dad walk down the aisle? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm the first one out, so I have no idea. And the pastor's wife was like, don't worry, I'll handle your dress, you're just gonna feel it rustling behind you for her train. And she's like, so just, when you feel that rustling, you just go, I, you know? It was just, it, oh, it was just, I'm not kidding you guys. But then, once the ceremony started, it just, we were able to actually relax and then enjoy the time you know the ceremony was beautiful it lasted 35 minutes and then we did photos after because they did not do a first look with the bride and the groom thank goodness I you know Tony wanted to actually see her for the first time walking down the aisle and it was just so he just cried he's very emotional like me he's you know that Latin blood I think is where he gets his emotions but he just sobbed like a baby when he saw her it was the sweetest thing ever and Michaela is the complete opposite she's she holds her emotions very close to the to the heart you know and she does not wear her emotions on her sleeve at all so it's really hard to tell what she's thinking sometimes but you knew she was so happy and she was teary-eyed she just didn't let it you know fall but um the um, photographer did do a first look with John and Michaela, and that was so sweet. He John's not a crier, but he did cry when he saw his baby for the first time. <laughs> and honestly, guys, I didn't have time to cry until like the actual ceremony, and then it was just like it all hit me like a ton of bricks. And then when I saw Tony crying it was like it was done all of the girls Kristen Amber and Sabrina were they cried you know through the whole thing and because she's the baby and um 
Kristen it was so funny. She she had tears like running down her face the whole time. And then they did the you know like after the uh, the pastor you know pronounced them husband and wife and introduced them for the first time as Tony and Michaela Pineda. Um, and then they they walk down and then you know like the bridal party went after them and then us I get up to where they were at and Kristen was just a blubbering mess <laughs> and I'm like hey what are you doing and she's like I held it in through the whole ceremony and she's like I just have to look. she was just she couldn't hardly talk it was just it was the Oh, it was so funny. And then we did pictures afterwards, you know, like the family photos, the bridal party, the bride and the groom, that sort of thing. And then, you know, then they had the reception started. They, we ate, then we did the first dance with Tony and Michaela, and then they did the dance with Nolan, and then they did the father-daughter dance. They did the groom and mother's dance, and then they did the cake. And then it was just fun and just it was everything was fun from that point on there was no more schedule you just did you know everything <coughs> just boom 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 and then it was just let go and have fun and it was just a great time it was a perfect day it was supposed to be scattered showers throughout the day from friday night into saturday um not a drop of rain beautiful blue skies it was actually really hot um, and there you know with the wedding being at five it was so hot so um, but it was perfect I mean you know everybody it, it wasn't you know you weren't like oh, hot but it was warm it was very very warm um, it look you know it was a little humid but it was fine it was it just you couldn't have asked for a more perfect day and um, Tony and Michaela said, I mean, there was, there were little teeny tiny hiccups along the way. Nothing major. Thank goodness. Nothing major happened. The biggest hiccup we had was that we run out, we ran out of vase filler for the vases. We just ran to Walmart and picked up something as close as we could find. I had been at Michael's Friday, picked up five more pounds of vase filler that they had it was like the cut glass so it almost looked like rock like crystal like crystal rocks kind of um, it's hard to describe what it was but um, they had something similar she had ordered it online so I found the closest thing I can could get and we just mixed everything and it actually was beautiful how it looked in the vases so it was beautiful it turned out beautiful but we were two tables short so we were six vases short total um, Carmen her mother-in-law ran to Walmart um, while we were getting makeup done and she picked some up that went in literally like five minutes before the reception literally five minutes before the reception started so the food was fantastic everything just I mean it couldn't have been better guys it it really it honestly could not have been any better um, Michaela and Tony were ecstatic with the way things turned out Tony had no clue you know I mean the guys don't really know what's going on they just go with the flow at that point but you know Michaela knew and you know she said mom it couldn't have been better it she, you know I mean she was like I didn't even know anything other than the vases she was like there was nothing else that could have went wrong you know could have it, it, it just was perfect so yay we got through it now they're off in Traverse City um, I talked to her yesterday um, while we were texting yesterday they went um, canoeing they went river rat river tubing they did jet skis they did um, what's the thing that you slide down on the rope thing they they did that they did putt putt golf <coughs> um, today they were going horseback riding couples massage um, bowling in arcade and then tomorrow I don't know what they 
I know she wants to she, <laughs> she wants to go um, skydiving so bad and Tony's like absolutely not so she's still trying to talk him into doing the skydiving thing tomorrow they're going on a hot air balloon ride tomorrow um, they were gonna do parasailing but it was $80 a piece for 10 to 12 minutes for parasailing so that was $160 for 10 to 12 minutes so they decided to rent the jet ski for an hour for $104 so that's what they did instead and she said her hair was just in nuts <laughs> but anyway they're having a great time and um, yeah so that's that's the deal guys um, so anyway stay tuned for the two friend mail videos my ipsy bag my ipsy bag video and my first of my fall wreath series will be this week yay I'm so excited to get these wreaths going so guys if you liked my video again please give me a great big thumbs up if you're new to my channel click that red subscribe to see more of my videos don't forget click the little bell for notifications every time I upload a new video, leave comments, questions, or suggestions down below. And as always, guys, from me to you, great big hugs. I love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.